Well, students across the valley have been back in school for a little over a month now. Parents, um, how are those school lunches going? Well, if you're scrambling, we have some ways to make your meals easier. Joining us now is Monica Moreno. She is a registered dietitian and can keep you on track. Good morning, Monica. Hey, how are you? I am doing great. Yeah, we need this uh, type of interview now. You know, every morning, getting the kids ready can be overwhelming and stressful. Uh, can you please help out parents in making lunch packing easier? Absolutely. Today, I'm partnering with the Beef Checkoff to help you, parents, be beef prepared during the busy fall. Prepared beef products are quick and easy when you're looking to please a range of tastes and preferences in your house, so they can be a huge help this time of year, especially when it comes to that question of what to pack for lunch. So I like that there's something different for everyone with prepared meats. The prepared meats category is diverse and offers choices to meet nutrition needs, tastes, budgets, and personal preferences. Thousands of products are available in the meat case and include low and reduced sodium products, low and reduced fat products, American Heart Association certified organic and grass-fed options, kosher, and more. Prepared beef products offer great versatility, whether for breakfast, those pesky school lunches, dinners, a snack, a main course, or on a sandwich, or on their own. So I can talk to you about these recipes today if you want to hack your kid's school lunch. Well, yeah, because, you know, parents love what you're saying. Kids don't really care. They just want stuff that tastes yummy. So I'm sure you have things in the lunchbox, in your lunchbox, that taste good. Oh, absolutely. So today I made these adorable kid-friendly and adult-friendly beef jerky people sitting around a campfire, <laughs> waxing nostalgic about summertime, which is now over. So you can pack this in a lunch or just have it ready as a quick after-school snack. They're packed with satiating protein, iron for healthy blood cells, and a whole lot of flavor and fun. Now, for the adults and the kids with more advanced palates, I made these New York inspired pastrami beef toast with sauerkraut, and they're a huge hit in my house because I'm always looking for a way to get some yummy probiotics from the sauerkraut in there. It just pairs really well with the beef, and it pairs perfectly with the kraut. Not to mention how satiating the pastrami is. It has a lot of protein and tastes just like a vacation to my parents' hometown of New York. Very cool. All right, now, since we're talking beef, um, can you use um, beef, you know, and prepare beef for um, dinner, too? Oh, yes. Yeah. So it's actually National Family Meals Month. So you can absolutely use beef for dinner. Um, a quick hack that I like to do, you mentioned feeling scrambled in the morning. You can feel scrambled at night. So you can make a big old omelet and chop up something like these beef pastrami's, throw in some vegetables for fiber, and you have an instant family-pleasing dinner for everybody. Oh, Monica, I can't tell you how much I love breakfast at dinner time. And that would include, it's the best. yeah, that would include all of the beef uh, that goes along with it, like steak. Oh, steak and eggs. That's a lot of protein. Steak and eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Lots oh. of iron and zinc, too. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, last question. Uh, if you have a child who's a picky eater, uh, what can you do to help them eat more, you know, like fruits and vegetables? So your job is to keep it pressure free, playful and peaceful, because when the kids think they have the power, they're going to send you into a tizzy. So keep just offering and exposing them to vegetables. So if you can see here, I have celery, I have carrots, I have some pickles and I have cucumbers. They're just here living their best lives hmm. alongside the other things that you know your kids will eat. So no big deal. Just keep offering and exposing, offering, exposing. And one day they'll probably take a bite. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they find out they're living their best lives, they're going to want to chomp those down. <laughs> Maybe keep that a secret between us. Yeah, right. All right, Monica, thanks for the great advice. And Thank more. you so much for having me. All right, more will be right back.